Okay, folks, um, video three of the buying an X270 and upgrading it uh, series. Um, I'm on Amazon and I'm looking for the right memory. So I did some research and even though the um, Lenovo site doesn't state that there's support for uh, 32 gig sticks of memory, um, I did find quite a few people online that said, yes, they will take it. It just doesn't state that it'll take it. Um, the other thing you need to realize, and I think that some of the um, um, listings that we were looking for on eBay said that there were two RAM slots. There's not two RAM slots on an X270. There's only one. So, you know, we could probably make do with less memory, but as long as we're upgrading this thing, um, buying a 16 gig stick is around $80. So if I can basically for half again double the amount of, of RAM it's probably worth doing it. Now um, I've narrowed down the results as much as possible that is I searched for SODIM 32 gig. SODIM is the name for laptop memory and um, I told it I wanted DDR4 and um, um, I'm leery of like clicking on one RAM stick because the one that I, I know works the one that they list in this and other listings um, is the M471A 4G 43 MB1 serial number uh, which is this one right here. Now that's going for 136 but I'm gonna check some of the cheaper ones. Now again you know unfortunately like I said if I click on one RAM stick then all of this stuff goes away um, or a lot of the stuff goes away. So I'm, I'm leery of clicking on one RAM stick and having some of the, the more affordable choices hidden from me. So we don't want a uh, two stick set, but this uh, Timetech Hynix, which I've actually heard of before, um, I'm going to go into it and I want to see some of the ratings. I want to actually see if anybody's reported using it in a Lenovo machine. So let's see. Uh, ideally, somebody will say, hey, I put this in an X270 and it worked fine. Um, I'm not seeing that, so let's see if there's any Lenovo's. Um, okay, so it looks like people have reported putting it in other Lenovo's of about the same uh, ilk, if you will. Um, just a little bit uh, um, leery given that nobody's ever put it in an X270. Now the other thing to be honest I did check to make sure that this was DDR4 RAM um, it's got CL19 which is not uh, sort of ideal oh good it's got it right here next to it um, um, that's the Samsung that we were looking at so you know normally when they list these uh, comparisons this way it's because other people that bought this wound up or looked at this wound up buying this. Um, so let me see what other information I can get off of it. It's, let's see, 2666. It doesn't say what the CL is. Um, yeah, I think, you know, since we're talking about 120, saving 12 bucks, I'd rather go with the stuff that I, I know um, is going to work. Now, in terms of the um, hard drive, we just need to make sure that it's a 2.5 inch. Um, you're not going to find any uh, hard drives that will fit in a 2.5 inch bay that are bigger than a 2 terabyte, but I will go ahead and go for the 2 terabyte one. Um, Seagate Barracuda is pretty good. They've got a Fire Cuda. Yep, there's that. So let's limit it to four star reviews and let's sort by price low to high uh, I don't know what that is we're not going for that um, so the Barracuda is around 50 bucks and uh, you know what we forgot to do is specify that we wanted 2.5 inches someplace is it allowing us to do that someplace but well, we certainly want new and Let's click on internal and then maybe it'll give us the choice of saying 2.5. Um, we definitely want SATA, SATA 3. Again, I did research to see that. And yeah, here, let's specify that we want a 2.5 inch. 
So yet again, right? Price low to high. Um, that's really weird. Oh, so I guess the Barracuda we were looking at before. Let me back up. Um, ah, that's a three and a half. That's why it was so darn cheap. Okay, so it looks like um, we can get a Western Digital Blue, which is a decent laptop um, hard drive. Um, let's just compare some of the specs. There, that's at 5400. This is at 5400. Um, I'll be honest, I've just had some bad experiences with um, Western Digital. And if it's just based upon price, right? Um, looks like the only difference is the packaging between these two. But um, I'd probably go with the Barracuda over the Western Digital Blue. Now this Firecuda, which they're not even showing us, um, the Firecuda comes with a little bit of uh, extra cash on it, which I think makes it speed up a little bit. But I'm okay with um, $75 for a 2 terabyte hard drive, so I'm going to add that to the cart. Now, last thing we got to look for is, and let me go back to all departments, we need a 2242 SSD. Now 2242 refers to the size factor and it turns out there's two ways to put an SSD into these X270s. You can get an adapter for the 2.5 inch, two two inch bay where the hard drive normally sits and you can basically stick a normal size 2280 gumstick type SSD in there which you can get up to two terabytes on those. Um, the problem with doing that is that that sort of ties up all of your storage. And if you want one drive that's fast and you're willing to pay for it, um, then you can certainly uh, do that. However, um, if you want a fast boot drive um, that's got about 500 gig, and then you want to have two terabytes of, of uh, slower storage, um, it might be worth it to consider getting one of these. So there is a wireless uh, access network, a WAN slot that up until um, earlier versions of the X2 blank series um, only took WAN cards. But with the X260, I believe, but I know with the X270, it started accepting little SSDs, the 2242 size factor. And 2242 is the number of millimeters that it refers to. These things are like half of a stick of gum, basically, versus the 2280. Now, I have used Dogfish before. I've used Kingspec. Um, and transcend. So those three are all perfectly valid types. I'd like to get um, sort of as much bang per buck as I could. So 240, once you get the operating system on it, once you install some software, it gets a little bit tight on space. So I think what I'd like to do is let's specify we want four stars and up. Let's go ahead and sort by price low to high. Now these are adapters and again it's not really good at, at sort of um, drilling down to what you really want to see so we're going to have to get rid of some of these. But one of the things that will help us uh, sort of get rid of that is I'm surprised that they're reporting 2242 with 2 terabyte. I'll click this just a second but uh, man I guess this has gotten um, fairly uh, sophisticated recently. Now, the one thing we're going to have to be careful here is that um, the fastest spec for SSD cards is NVMe, or sometimes referred to as PCIe. Um, that is fastest, but we can't put a NVMe drive in that WAN slot. We're going to need basically a SATA speed uh, SSD. So if we look down here, we'll see that, sure enough, that's uh, supposedly one of the only choices. So, wow, two terabytes. Um, I guess I was thinking about NVMe 2242s. There are some laptops that'll take NVMe, which is faster, um, and, but they, they've only got those up to like 500 gig. They don't have them at, 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 uh, at two terabytes like this one. So I was just interested to see what was available, but I'm not gonna pay $300 for an SSD either. So let's go back in. Let's get rid of that. Let's keep the SATA 3. Notice that we do not have uh, uh, any other types checked here and let's look at what choices oh you know what let's um, let's specify that at least this range I'd like to get it bigger if we could but I really don't think this is a possibility with uh, uh, 
with um, SATA drives. So this is an adapter, that's not what we're looking for. This card would be fine, like I said I've used Dogfish before. Um, it's saying 46. Now I could click through and see how much they're charging, but I just want to go down now. These would fit in the two and a half inch slot if we wanted to go that direction, but if we were going to do that, we could buy an adapter to put the NVMe type in that. So I'm not, not looking at those either. Um, this King Spec is not bad. It's fairly high ranked. So $75, $76. And looks like so 250 for 46. So let me do this. Let me check and see what, right? So this was 512 gig for $76. What kingfish, excuse me, dogfish, would they ask? Um, so about the same size as around 480, and it's more expensive. Now, this might be just marginally, marginally faster than the um, other choice, but I think. All in all, I'm going to go with the King spec. So yeah, and it looks like we could bump it up to one terabyte for 169. That's the whole reason I'm getting the two terabyte hard drive. Um, I'll put games or you know, doc files or anything like that over on the hard drive. I don't really think that we need much more than 512 gig on the SSD. Uh, so let me go ahead and add that. Oh, thanks. So, all in, what we're looking for is to upgrade our $400 laptop. We're going to add another $287 worth of stuff. Now, this will add a lot of RAM to it. It'll add a lot of storage, cheap storage, but slow storage in the form of the hard drive. And it will have actually twice as much um, SSD space as it's using right now. Now, I'm not sure, and the description on eBay didn't really state that, but I suspect that if it had 256 SSD before, that's either already a, a uh, WAN drive like this one is, or it's a 2280 uh, NVMe SSD that's in the uh, drive bay with an adapter. I suspect that it's actually the latter, just because uh, if they had put something in the wireless access network slot, um, then they probably would have kept whatever hard drive or whatever it came with in the hard drive bay. So I'm suspecting that when we get this thing, we will have the WAN slot open, and the 256 gig SSD that's in the machine will be over in the hard drive bay. So if I'm right, it'll be a fairly easy job to basically just slot this uh, M.2 drive in and clone it over using free software, which I'll talk about when we do that. And then I can uh, boot up off of that, take out the um, larger SSD, bigger, not, not larger in capacity, the one that's in the hard drive bay, and swap in the hard drive. So I think this will make for a fairly painless uh, upgrade. Um, now, one note, if you happen to buy a X270 and it already has something in the wireless access network slot, um, you will need some sort of adapter, right? You're going to have to have basically a little external um, um, drive that you can plug in via USB so as to clone what's in the WAN slot to what needs to go in the WAN slot. So I'll look at those real quickly, right? And this would basically be um, SSD external USB, this is going to get us to what we want to look at. Um, so we're looking for basically just a little bitty case. Uh, it looks like that did not do it for us. Um, what we need to say is closure, I think. Yep, so these are, are pretty much what we're looking for. So we're not talking real expensive here. Uh, now this right here these are designed for like two and a half inch SSDs, the ones that are about the same size as the as the hard drive. This is more what we're looking for, and that's for an NVMe. Um, you got to be careful because a lot of times they're not sort of equally transportable between uh, NVMe and SATA. So sometimes they'll refer to SATA just as M.2, but to be honest, M.2 is sort of the the size. So I think this is what we want, and let's check into it. 
look at that um, bottom of that picture. Yeah, so this is basically saying this will not work with an NVMe, which is fine. We don't want it. It will work with uh, SATA SSD, either the kinds that have M keys and B keys or just a B key. That refers to the thing. So either one that we've got should work fine. So you might need to add something like this. And again, it's like 14 bucks. Um, all that would enable you to do is you would take your new SSD, put it in this guy, plug it into the USB drive, clone from the existing one onto this. But like I said, I'm hoping that the SSD that's in it right now is in the hard drive bay. Um, so the WAN slot is empty and I'll be able to clone from the hard drive bay SSD to the WAN slot SSD and then take the hard drive or the hard bay SSD out. So you'll see all this when it comes in. Okay, hope this has been informative and I will post links to all the parts I bought just in case you're trying to, to replicate this.